Just showing you all the points uh, where to take the bumper off. There's one bolt there that just holds the inner wing on. It's only like a felt material. And there's another one. I don't know if you can see it up there. And then you just pull this out of the way, just move it to one side, and there's a, a torque bolt there that holds the bumper. So you're just taking this inner wing off, just moving it back rather, just to uh, to get the uh, the torque bolt. That's same on the other side. And uh, open the boot, and there's one there. You can see it, one there and one on the other side. Then there's two light roll plug bolts underneath here and here. You just get a screwdriver in and pull them out. It says you have to take this plastic cover off the inside um, to get the bumper off and you don't. So you can forget that one. But you do have to take the lights off. If you don't, you risk breaking um, under this part here, this plastic long clip that holds it in, and if you just poke a little screwdriver it pulls out. If you try and pull them out, you'll break the, the clip. So uh, lights come out, simple job. Just pull this cover off like that, and can you see that there? You can put a screwdriver in if it's too tight to hold with your hand. If you can, can't undo it with the hand, just put a screwdriver in the slot. And then there's one up there, just saying. Can, hope you can see that. Yeah. So it's there and there. Remove the uh, three nuts from this uh, crumpled section that's at the back of the uh, bumper. Just lift him off and there's the uh, chassis members that you're going to put the uh, plates in. This uh, crumple piece will not be going back in, but it might be advisable to save that and the nuts somewhere in case you're selling the car. These are the uh, plates that's going to go in there like that, and they will pick the uh, bolts up, the holes in the chassis on that side. Uh, when I put the nuts on the back of this. I'm also going to put some uh, wax oil on these or grease to preserve it. One thing uh, I didn't like is that these are going to be exposed to uh, water so maybe uh, I can do something about that because the before they was covered and to locate them into these so you've got to make sure you don't damage these and press these in like this and locate them in there like that. Make sure you've got them right way around and push them in. And then these will hold the uh, nuts in place while you push the bolt through the chassis. Yeah, these uh, nuts, these nuts, uh, go into the and that look these spring in on the legs to hold it inside the bar so that this doesn't rotate or push out when you put the bolt in just be careful these legs that you've got them located right in there and make sure you've got them uh, the right way around just push them in with the nut in yeah, I've not uh, fully tightened the side arms yet. They're just in something like because 
I've just set this on one bolt here roughly. It's just wedging that then, just to show me where to cut this little piece off here. This is the under panel, it just needs a little bit of, I'm just going to use this hacksaw blade just to saw through it. Yeah, I've got the bolts in there. There's only uh, two each side. Um, so now I'm going to tighten the bolts under there on the chassis. Just got to tighten these bolts. Um, I did have a bit of trouble getting this, so I just tiny bit to get them bolts lined up. I had to keep uh, when I got these two in. I had to keep knocking that that way to release them a little bit, but push it further back. But then uh, I got them all right. Yeah, just talking these up to the uh, recommended. It's all on the instructions. The recommended tool. Yeah, advisable to uh, to hook them up. I wonder all, uh, all the bolts, and then uh, it's bumper back on. Just putting the uh, bumper back on. Double's all in place. Uh, these wires that feed these sensors at the bottom, at the back of the bumper. I decided to unclip them all. There is a connection at the back of there, a big connection if you can get that one off, but I found it a bit tricky so I took one, two, three, four sensors off. Just press press this down. Here look, press that little clip there and they'll just slide off. Then they've got these just to stabilise the wire. So yeah, I'll put the last one on and then clip the bumper back on I'll show you where it fastens. Don't forget that tin plate there it goes on these two bolts there and it holds your uh, uh, for the wine harness which can be in different positions as a like a little clip underneath that holds it. When you put in the uh, tow ball on, um, it won't it won't go on in this position, and that's up and that's up. So you've got to what they say, charge it first by turning this. Press it in and turn it right back. Did you hear it click? I don't know if you can see this, but just charge it, push it up. Pull it back. Did you hear that click? Make sure you hear that click. And then it's got it. It's got it solid. And can you see the green indicator? That's showing you that, uh, that it's in the correct position. If that were red, it's not hooked on properly.